I'm going to make just one tutorial which is making the beads with iridescent tissue from beginning to end so to make enough to make uh, a choker um, I've made some really nice necklaces which I'll show you towards the end of the uh, video um, making beautiful things with these beads so starting off what I do is I have been using um, these are puppy pads for when you're training a puppy not to pee on the carpet and inside it they have a fabric which I find really really useful now I've been calling it Tyvek and quite frankly I'm not sure if it is but whatever it is it works a treat so what I do is I take off the first surface like that carefully so it doesn't rip off the paper might rip off some of the paper. This is Ida trying to do. Yeah. So this is a real-time tutorial with all the interruptions and all the mistakes that life has to offer because I still haven't worked out how to edit but also it's a bit more realistic isn't it if it actually takes as long as it takes I've been watching lots of YouTube videos and it's quite nice to be able to sit down and watch one which lasts for a bit longer than two minutes I think so we'll see how long this takes so what I'm doing is as I did before just folding it up like so like that and then I cut it into pieces and then this, I think in America they, it's called fantasy film. It's quite fantastic. So this again, I just cut strips off and then pull them apart so that we have individual strips like that. And I have speeded it up a little bit because I've got some ready already. Here we go. There's a few tricks I've learned which I'll show you. So, stop to do that. Can you see how it starts to melt? I'm going to let it go really plasticky and granulated. And then I just roll it on the back of there to make it a bit flatter and then I squish it together and I turn it to make sure that it will come in and out. And then to make a bigger bead, just roll more on top like that and do the same. And roll. So that's basically the size of the core. Then with this fantasy film, if you just heat it again, just to make it hot, it sticks then to the fantasy film and then you can just wrap it round like that. I will make, I'm going to make a long one, you'll 
see one. There's more service really on anything really. And keep that long and make it again. It doesn't really matter how that goes on because it all shrinks. sure it moves, heat it up and add that. Heat to shrink it and if it starts to burn away or melt away I should say and just Add a little bit more. Yeah. Roll it. Make sure that it comes off like that. And I'll do it so far. <laughs> Not one like that, and one like that. And we can do a small. doing a little bit of it. So I've just taken a small amount of it here and then do that. And put it in front of the heat gun. you have is a little sort of tube, a little bead. What I do is just chip off the end with a pair of scissors like that and then I take a cocktail stick and poke it in one end and then I put the rather rough end into the heat just to smooth it down a bit and the same on the other end. It just means that when you start add adding the glass beads, they don't um, just look rough, they look okay. I want to show you some of the necklaces. Um, well, I'll show you some of the earrings first of all. These are without the beads, these are with just using the tiny bits of fragments of clay pipe. Um, they, come out. they do make really nice little earrings. I'm trying to just, I haven't got them on in proper findings, you see, like that, with they have beads on. And these are what I've used with the longer ones. We'll get to this stage next. So I think because this has taken nearly nine minutes I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do it forever. I'll work out how long it takes me to do enough beads to make a necklace, a bracelet and a pair of earrings and then I'll come back to you and show you what I do next. Kidoki, bye.